Hi, um, I've got a new motherboard today. It's called a Gigabyte P35CDS3R. My old motherboard was an Asus P5NE SLI, as you can see there. And, and I recently got an extra gigabyte of RAM, so now I've got three gigabyte of RAM. And this is new motherboard, I already fitted the cooler. I'm hoping this one will be a better overclocker. I only managed to get my E6600 to um, about 3.4 gigahertz. I'm hoping to get it to around 3.6 with the new one. Basically that's all I've got it for. And maybe a bit extra performance with an ATI graphics card. There's not much difference between this apart from that it doesn't have SLI. And it's got two more SATA parts. And the ID cable connection is in a bit of an awkward place. It seems to have a better SATA um, controller as well. And at the back, it's actually got more connections. It's got optical, coax. It's got options so I can connect. And the microphone, um, headphones, and the speakers at the same time now. Now, the old motherboard was a bit unstable. Not, not at the start car at 3 gigs, it's just over that. And the bits of problems with um, my ATI card and my hard drive with this but I'm not using this anymore so if anyone's interested in this board Asus P5NE SLI I'm providing that you live in the UK if you contact me I'll be selling this for £55 including postage and package pretty much everything else it's the same like in the ATI crappy graphics card um, the new board comes with this eSATA controller so power connecting to SATA so I'll be able to like have an hard drive outside I don't think I will but we've got ID cable, floppy cable, not that I'll ever use a floppy cable again and two decent SATA connections and that's about it apart from stickers and that's the mess my power supply um, hard drive there western digital 320 gigabyte I don't know if I've mentioned that but I got that that was about 50 pounds that's about it